Today I'm going to show you three different ways to do CCTV effect in DaVinci Resolve 17. If you have DaVinci Resolve free version, I will show you the fastest and easiest way to build one from scratch. Let's wake up our creative bug and jump into the edit page. Welcome back to another tutorial in DaVinci Resolve 17. Currently we are in edit page and as you can see I have already imported three different uh, video clips in uh, our timeline. So in the first uh, video clip I will show you the standard or let's say the old-fashioned way uh, of CCTV footage, camera footage and uh, the other two will be very short uh, I'm gonna use some uh, effects from effect library. So let's go to uh, first effect, so the old-fashioned way, and uh, let's close media pool, let's open effect library, go to open FX, go to temporal, almost on the end, so and grab stop motion effect. So we're gonna do this first because sometimes uh, there are problems when you put it like fusion uh, composition clip on it and here we're gonna see first uh, that it's important for this clip or this effect so we're gonna use uh, inspector and go to uh, effects so this mo stop motion effect it's important because we're gonna basically skip the frames or frame repeat uh, the most optimal if you go like 10 or even higher you, you can see that it's very uh, not it uh, doesn't look really good so it's you can see here in full screen looks weird so let's go back and uh, by my opinion uh, like three frames yeah it, it will be good enough so let's go back and just check it's a bit like skipping a frames so you can see that it's quite good not too bad so next thing is uh, go back to uh, effects so open toolbox go to effects go directly to adjustment clip drag and drop it onto the uh, video clip below and extend it as needed so highlight this adjustment clip you will see that basically adjustment clip is the container for the effects so first effects that we're gonna put in is still in uh, open effects so let's go down again to uh, stylize and first effect that we're gonna put in is scan lines so let's put in to adjustment clip so when you have it in you can see already that we already have uh, these scan lines in go to effects in inspector What's important only for us is line frequency. Line frequency should be like above 15 but below 20. So I, I like this one around 17, 17 ish or something like that. So you, you can see that uh, this effect looks nice, not too bad. The lines are okay, so let's leave it like that. So next effect is vignette effect so let's dra drag and drop into the adjustment clip so you can see already that we have vignette here uh, vignetting on all four corners so uh, what we need to do we're gonna just change the size a little bit uh, here is anaphormism uh, and uh, softness just use it a little bit this way you can uh, decrease the size uh, so the softness is quite good so let's check how it looks not too bad so vignette I think it's quite good so next thing that is important you can see here that we have all three effects in and the all three effects are working properly so stop motion vignetting and scan lines 
So what we need more is uh, the old way or old fashioned way uh, for this effect, you know, that they didn't use colors. So everything was black and white. So let's go to color page. And the fastest way for that is to decrease the saturation. Decrease it to zero and you have black and white image. So one thing more, we just need to, to change a little bit. So let's decrease a bit lift. Oh, too much, too much. Like, uh, yeah, 0.01. So let's lift gamma a little bit. 0.01 and let's decrease gain to 0.97 something. Yeah, like this. Uh, looks nice, I reckon. So, you, if you like it differently, you, you will just uh, do your own settings uh, on this. So, let's go back to edit page and uh, let's close edit uh, effect library and, and inspector. So, next step is we need some text on it. So, uh, how to do the text in, in uh, edit page is let's go to workspace and uh, open it and go to data burn in. So you can see here that already is opened in clip, not project. Don't go to project, otherwise you will have uh, this uh, time codes and everything. Uh, it will do in all clips that you have on timeline. So only this clip that we have here. So highlight adjustment clip, just click on record, uh, record time code. So this will need, we will need uh, different uh, boxes, just take it and let's go to date, let's go to camera. So let's play with that. So we can move it across the screen. Uh, we're going to start with uh, record time code and we're going to move it to the left, left hand side uh, on the lower uh, side of the screen. So next uh, we're gonna go with uh, custom text is recording. So let's put it like on the left as well and lift it up to towards the uh, left hand side, upper side of the screen. So next thing is uh, number of cameras. So camera one, camera two. So put it here, just lift it up to the right hand side, upper right hand side of the screen. So next thing is let's go with date. So we're going to put it on the lower part of the screen, right hand side. So it's going to be something like here. So we need to put also the date. So we're going to lower here like that. We have camera as well. We're going to lift up. Close a bit. And that's basically it. Let's go back and see the effect in full screen. Uh, you can see it looks quite nice. Uh, we are basically mimicking uh, the uh, old CCTV camera footage. So this effect is finished. I will show you now the faster way if you have uh, DaVinci Resolve 17. Uh, I reckon that these effects are only in the studio version. I'm not sure, but uh, let's see how to do it. So open effect library you can go to effects and you can see immediately on the top of fusion effects you have cctv so just drag and drop it into the video clip and the effect is basically finished so you can see here that's you have all the attributes needed so cam4 re recording and uh, uh, track record number so this is done so the next one is you can play a little bit with that. So you can go with video camera. So you can go back to 
the effect. So on the top, just grab adjustment clip, put it on the top, grab this video camera effect, put it on the top. So one thing is that I would suggest uh, just grab the same steps uh, that we have grabbed before. So it can still be like color, color, color footage, not uh, black and white. But anyway, just go to open FX, uh, go down to the temporal stop motion, put it in the video clip. So just go to inspector, uh, go to effects, just put it on three. Uh, it will be the same as before. You can see, yeah, it's quite good. So next thing uh, that you're gonna change is, as I say, you can go to FX as well. So put vignette in it. So yeah, like that. So you still need to put scan lines in. It's gonna be also different. So as I say, around 16, 17. And let's see the full screen effect. Looks nice, also in color. So if you don't want to, to have it in color, just go uh, to color page and you can go like uh, not quite uh, you can lower the saturation to 25 approximately so go to 25 and you will see that also looks quite nice so it's not so bad I tried with that because the the colors are not so uh, heavy in the original CC TV so that's all for today. I have shown you three different ways how to do, uh, how to mimic uh, those CCTV uh, camera uh, footage. So thank you for today and see you next time. Did you see? Really easy. So if you have found this tutorial helpful, hit that thumbs up. Leave your feedback or comments down below. And for all newcomers, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Last but not least, don't forget to check my other videos as well. Have a great week and see you next time. Cheers!